How to make watercolor leaves with Miss Reese. Materials, paint, sponge, paper, Sharpie, crayons. Step one is to draw your leaf. I'm going to make my first leaf with a permanent Sharpie marker. I just need one marker right now and my paper. I'm going to make my stem first, then a curved line for my leaves or the edges of my leaves, and then I'm going to give it some veins. Of course, write my name. Activate paint with a little bit of water. I'm now, after activating my paint, going to take just a little bit of paint, one color at a time, and mix it with some water. I'm then going to start with the border or the outline of my leaf and work my way in. If I want to add a second color, I'm first going to wash off the paint in the water off of my paintbrush on the sponge and then add in my second color. I only need a little bit of color and a lot of water. The more water you add, the farther your color will go. I'm using orange, yellow, and for my stem, I'm using a little bit of brown. This is going to give the effect of a fall leaf. I'm going to add in some color on my veins as well. I'm going to make another leaf now, but this one's going to be a different shape. This one is going to have lots of curved lines and I'm gonna make it as irregular as possible. The less perfect my lines are, the more real and authentic my leaf will look. Remember, there is no perfection in nature and everything looks different. I'm gonna make some curved lines for my veins and then I'm gonna go in with my water and my watercolor paints. Remember, I'm starting on the border or the outside of my leaf and working my way in, starting with one color at a time. Just a little bit of yellow this time for my border. And now I'm gonna go in on the veins so I can go ahead and add a new color. And I'm gonna add in some green now. Just a little bit of green with some water as well in order to make the color go a little farther. The more water I add, the better these watercolor paints are going to blend together. This creates the effect that the colors are slowly mixing into one another, just like a real leaf when it changes in the seasons. My next leaf, I'm going to make my outline with crayon. Crayon is water and paint resistant, so the watercolor is going to look very nice on top of the crayon. Again, I'm going to make this leaf irregular, and I'm gonna have some fun with the leaves veins this time, making them a little squiggly and adding more in. Again, the more irregular my lines are, the more real my leaf will look. Nothing in nature is perfect. Don't forget to write your name. I'm now going to make this leaf with some darker red colors. Each leaf should only have two to three colors maximum. The more colors you add, if you add too many, they will start to blend together as one and get a dark, mushy color that's not going to be as bright as we'd like. The darker the color, the more water you'll need to kind of spread out your color. I'm going to, again, start on the outside and work my way in, adding in my second color, which is brown, and then I'm gonna add in water to blend them together. We don't wanna to use too much water because we don't wanna make our paint and our paper soggy so that it will take too long to dry. But again, we wanna use enough water that the paint starts to blend together. Don't forget, it's okay to make messes, but we must clean up after we make them. Again, you can make as many leaves as you want and try to have some fun and enjoy yourself. I can't wait to see your masterpieces.